Hey YouTube, safety here. So I've got the tank completely exposed, uh, disassembled all attachments that were connected to it. Um, I still have to remove this plug here. It had the uh, temperature gauge going into the center of the tank t to monitor the temperature of the water and control the, the pilot light shut off. Um, I removed it, but I still have to take the cap out and figure out a way to plug it. If it doesn't leak when I fill it up in a moment, um, then I might just leave it on. But my first step is to finish cleaning off all this insulation, go through and sand the entire thing just to clear off any little bits of rust, and then I'm going to go ahead and spray paint the entire tank. Now for spray painting it, I'm going to be using this um, Rust Oleum. It's a matte black finish. It helps to protect against rust. It's used for grills and wood stoves. It says it's resistant um, of a heat up to 1200 degrees. I was going to use the engine one, but that was only 500 degrees. I figured that 500 would work, but um, instead I wanted to use just a little bit more heat because the box that I'm going to build will generate quite a bit of heat in there. Um, again, this help, should help to stop rust since there is water involved. Um, but the tank shouldn't be exposed to any elements. But I'm going to go ahead and spray paint this tank and uh, enjoy. Stay safe, YouTube. Alright, now that I've got it all spray painted, put two coats on it, probably put another coat on it. Um, the tank is finished, a um, couple little fine tuning things, but otherwise it's pretty much finished, cleared out. I'm going to go ahead and start designing the box that I'm going to put it in, pick up the lumber and start assembling the box that I'll need to go in. Um, proper insulation, I need to come across a sliding glass door or well most likely door or large window that's double pane in good condition and that's at least the same height as this tank right here so enjoy my videos stay safe you do more to come